To qualify for free assistance, you do need to make less than $53,000 per year. You can make an appointment at one of the locations listed on NBCWashington.com. If you don't qualify, we still have lots of tax resources and help also on our website. Uber says it wants to access users' contacts to facilitate social interactions, offer features or services in the future, and allow users to send special offers to riders, family, and friends. Over the course of a year, Cohen says 500 homeowners across the country fell for it. Cohen said the scam worked in three phases. First, the company approved homeowners a loan modification. Second, it asked the homeowner to make three trial mortgage payments. And finally, the company allegedly staged an advocacy department to ensure homeowners made the payment. Vehicle warranties come directly from the manufacturer. These mailings may look official. They even have the make and model of your car, but there's no return address. But a lot of times that isn't true. And Hanks warns about protection promises, paying a company for coverage. But when something goes wrong, you learn your car problem is not covered. Victoria in Montgomery Village sent us an email with a great money-saving idea. Every week, she takes $20 and splits it into three savings accounts, one for long-term savings, one for emergencies, and savings for upcoming trips. John Denise says, number one, people should plan and prepare for their fitness goals. That means sign up for classes ahead of time so you're committed. Plan your meals for the week, especially if you know you have events after work. Walmart told us it does not solicit secret shoppers. In fact, it confirmed fraudsters are sending fake messages via text, email, and snail mail. The criminals ask consumers to deposit the enclosed check, then wire the money back for one reason or another. You can find out more about signs of fraud and how these scams work on our website, NBCWashington.com. Walmart's warning illustrates a letter very similar to the one that Bird received. It tracked the prices of dozens of products at eight national chains once a week for 44 weeks. The nonprofit found Sears, Macy's, and Kohl's had at least half the items checkbook priced on sale most of the time. Look at this mixer and this recliner, both on sale 44 weeks out of 44 weeks. Sears says, quote, we provide discounts to our members and customers in a number of different legally compliant ways. It is unfortunate that Chuckbook.org did not appear to take these factors into account before making its assumptions. Macy's says, quote, our pricing cadence varies for each item based on the nature and seasonality of the merchandise, its family of business and customer response, among other things. The items on the list were not monitored every day. Macy's promises sales by day, not by week. Macy says it strives to comply with all laws and regulations. And Kohl's did not respond. So... Christine is talking about her struggle with bipolar disorder. 5.7 million Americans have heard the same diagnosis. It's characterized by unusual mood changes and shifts in energy and activity levels. Psychotic thinking can be part of it, too. Poor impulse control. I have no, I have no impulsivity control. In terms of price, there was a noticeable difference. Blue Apron cost us about $40 as first-time customers, about $60 after that. Scratch DC cost us nearly $100. We wondered what these ingredients would cost at a grocery store. 
According to the BBB, more than 170 cases in the D.C. metro region were eligible for help last year. Just over 100 were settled in mediation and nearly 60 went to arbitration. Now, out of those cases, 39% of the vehicles were replaced or repurchased. 15% were repaired and more than 42% got nothing. His was one of more than 15,000 complaints the FTC says it received last year, all robocalls pitching free medical alert devices. They paid the company $13,000 after it supposedly modified their mortgage from $1,500 a month to $1,000 with a 2% interest rate. Hope and HAMP Services. Does that sound familiar? That's because those same names offer real loss mitigation services provided by the Federal Housing Administration. Meditation is helping them reduce their stress level. As we practice in coming back to the breath, coming back into the present. The FTC recently shut down a Florida-based company that made more than $20 million off consumers from calls like the one Jensen got. In addition, the FTC warns, the caller tells the consumer the device is endorsed by hospitals or a company when it's not. Also says here that the shipping has already been paid for. So to uh, schedule the delivery of your emergency medical or some press a parent in his wife Amy's voice message to their longtime housekeeper Nellie Gutierrez, which we're now hearing for the very first time. Hey Nellie, it's Amy. I am calling to see if I could get your you and your crew, I think is the best bet. Um, maybe two days Monday, Tuesday or Tuesday, Wednesday if you could. Sava built a martial arts studio in Chantilly, Virginia. Um, and of course, Bill's during the construction, so we're like down to the wire. So Nelly agreed to help clean the new karate studio because it appeared to be important to Amy. She also suggested that their other housekeeper work at the studio with Nelly. And if you need to take Vera, you can take Vera too. So just let me know. So next week is sort of a crazy week anyway. The crazy turn of events 